Now let's get into uh back into this Monique Griffin, see what she had to say in response to uh Stephen A. Smith calling her bitter. Let's jump at let's jump into this. When we're not on stage, what is being said? And again, to revisit Brother Stephen A., I'd like to point something out to you. When you sit there and you say that a black woman looks bitter because she's telling her personal truth. When you sit there and you speak in reference to the individuals that she spoke about, you're not because you wanted to distinguish yourself from Shannon Sharp as being a general jur a journalist, but you said you don't know what's happening, you don't know what's going on, and you don't care to know. That right there is you sacrificing your journalistic integrity because it is your job to know when you make assertions about certain individuals and not form an opinion, and you are supposed to ask the questions such as, when she said what she said regarding Kevin Hart and David Becky, as it re relates to him uh, reneging on what he promised, and you ask the question, well, is there a reason, Monique, that he would do that? Here's the question you should ask, is what she said true? And if there was a reason why he would have done that, wouldn't that, would there not have been a reason why he wouldn't have called her first to say, I've got to take that deal back? See, when we stay grounded in this thing called ethics, come on, when we stand grounded in this thing called right, it's going to carve through all of the nonsense that you were trying to communicate. And I can see, based upon watching you throughout the years, that you consider yourself an intellect. And please forgive me for speaking in this manner as it relates to Monique as a black man. Hold on. Can, can, can we just acknowledge this, you know, great <clears throat> black man, husband, you know, he's taking a step forward, doing what he's supposed to do as a man, handling his business as his wife steps to the side as she should step to the side, wife, Bro, step to the side and, and, and let the man handle this business with other men. Monique is an amazing wife who understands the necessity of letting the man lead as he is supposed to be doing as ordained by God. Okay. Following her natural role as the woman, I step into the side and let that man handle his business. I appreciate that coming from Monique. I appreciate it. Round yeah, of applause on the, for on Monique the new, being uh, a great wife. She a great, the, that is a great wife. Monique is a great wife. Go ahead. On the new, on the new Corey Holcomb uh, live stream that they did, he was actually mm -hmm. talking about that. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. It's your, and, and, amen. Amen, Christopher Perkins. Amen. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, I, that that's that's a phenomenal quality from Monique. You know what I'm saying? Understanding what any woman that doesn't any woman that doesn't carry the themselves, any woman that doesn't carry themselves like Monique shouldn't have a man at their side. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point of having a man at your side. So if you truly don't need a man, you don't need to have one at your side. See, Monique mm -hmm. wants a man at her side because she has a man at her side doing what a man is supposed to do. These modern women out here, you know what I'm saying, like the Dalton mayor, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the Dalton, Illinois mayor, they shouldn't have men at their side. What do you need? What do you need a, a tool at your side for that you're not utilizing? You mm -hmm. don't need it. You don't need it. They say it all the time. They don't need a man. So it shouldn't be no man at their at their side. If you're a man and you're at a side of a woman that is not conducting herself like how Monique is during these interviews, you got to question yourself. Why are you there? Facts. Why are you there? Because clearly you don't need me, you know, so let me go ahead and head out and I'll let you do your thing since you want to wear the pants. You know what I'm saying? And Deneen Grant got it right. And they hate her for honoring her black husband. It's sad. Facts. They can't stand it. It's crazy when you sit and you're very people, to people that say that critique Monique, and when they critique her, they always get on her husband. The and very he ain't doing people, nothing but defending his wife. The very people who say that these women don't get protection are the very ones that are the most angry with this situation when they see this going on. You don't think that this goes on, and then when you see it going on, you're upset about it. Yeah, 
That's you don't wild, need man. a man. You don't need a man. Mm -hmm. You need dust and dogs. <laughs> and Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> and, ben and, Jerry's. <laughs> and, a, and a pint of Ben and Jerry's. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what you need. Facts. Facts. Let me roll this video. Let's keep it moving. They said that look and real quick, real quick. They'll say, uh -huh. you know, and, and these men out here, they don't protect their women. You see a man right here, multiple mm -hmm. occasions, consistently protecting his women. Look at him. Misogynist. He won't even let her talk. Facts. She, she don't want to talk. She's talking mm -hmm. through him. That's the relationship thing that you didn't see growing up in your household, which is why you don't understand that. You grew up in chaos, so you think that chaos is what's supposed to be a regular relationship. You're not relationshipable. That's what the Western Hemisphere does. Mm -hmm. Facts. Facts. What happens is the Black woman should sometimes not have to defend herself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's a level of defense that should be had on her behalf for we as black men, because Monique didn't step to you when you were calling Kyrie Irving out for being a man and making a decision as a man to not get a shot and ridiculing him because his father raised a man. You should not have called out Kwame Brown in the way that you did calling him a bust because you have forgotten that that black man has a family and any man that has had the length of time that he had to live the dream in the NBA is not a bust in my book. He's a hero. He's a hero. So when you call Jason Whitlock a fat bastard, but you're telling Monique who referred to them as her brother and her sister and she loves them, but you can call Jason Whip like a fat bastard. My question to you, why are you allowed to speak your truth, but this black woman is not? Mic drop. Mic drop. You can call Michael uh, Whitlock a fat bastard, but Monique can't speak her piece without being you said, bitter. You said Michael Whitlock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or uh, what, uh, what was his one name? Two. Call him one uh, too. You, know, <laughs> you out there, Michael Whitlock. Jason, you know Jason Whitlock. Jason Whitlock. <laughs> Watch that some random cat from the hood going. Up. You ever right, want to be talking to TD and Rob calling me a fat bastard? You know <laughs> Michael Whitlock. <laughs> help me. Help me. I need the help. It is low hanging fruit to attack a black man. That was Cat Williams and Monique that did the interview. Why is it that you singled Monique out? Why is it? She was polite. You're not asking, was she inaccurate when she spoke about uh, uh, um, Tiffany Haddish? Though there's nothing but love, there's nothing but love. The irony is, is that our sister Tiffany Haddish went to GQ magazine to say, I'm glad I don't have that husband of hers for standing for Monique and standing with Monique when we were talking about pay inequality only for her to turn around and speak about the pay inequality. See, we will succumb to what it is that we support when what we support is wrong. You know, if I may say this to you, Stephen A. Smith, what you said when you said I'm bitter and my light don't shine no more, what you said to black women without saying it was be quiet. Be seen and not heard. And if you have a black woman in your life, and I believe I saw you in a picture with your beautiful queen, are you encouraging her through your message by what you said to Monique that you were in support of her voicing her concerns when being mistreated? Or are you encouraging her and other black women? I don't know if you have children, but if you have a daughter, because I've heard you speak with a great deal of reverence for your mother and for your sister. You should talk to them and ask them, have they been encouraged in this life to speak their truth or discouraged about speaking their truth? You know what I find the most amazing about these two mm. is how much in sync they are. Did you see when they were talking, how they were just like going back and forth per like perfectly? Did you notice that? Like before mm -hmm. she even got off what she was going to say, it was almost like it was scripted. He put it like this, like Shh, be silent. And as soon as she stopped talking, he started talking. It's like they just move in sync perfectly with one another. Yeah. 
that's amazing. That's good. That, yeah, that's good. We don't see and 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 this is what folks want to tear down. That's what's crazy. That's what's crazy. 